I don't know if you know my friend. He's like an unknown YouTuber. Yeah. I flew to this tiny town called Greenville, and I don't even know why. <laughs> I don't either. I don't <laughs> know. Who invited who? <laughs> so I'm Logan Paul. I box. <laughs> uh, I almost beat Floyd Mayweather, and I'm known for giving away money. Because I assume your audience is older. They're not just 12 year old kids. In this video, I take you through a raw and uncensored day with Mr. Beast. We're bringing it! From him managing an outrageous shoot. That was dope. To his relationships with his co stars. To how much it costs. To the strain on his mind and body. To editing it. What up? I'm taking over. And then to what he does in his spare time after it all at 2 30 a.m. And it's not sleep. What are what you up? doing? There! Where are we? What are we doing? So currently we're in the middle of nowhere. We're gonna strap a jet engine to a car. <laughs> and then we're gonna see how many buses it can jump over. I think one of these corners we're gonna turn and we're just gonna see a row of buses. Yeah, over there. Oh god, what if the ramp just broke? This is so steep. <laughs> what would you do if I literally just drove off that? I would be down. <laughs> well, you'd be going down. <laughs> <laughs> the sheer scale of production on these videos is ridiculous. I'm gonna go around and count just how many cameras it takes to shoot a Mr. Beast video. Do you ever get nervous for shit like this? Um, no, not really, not anymore. So actually, in Squid Game, when I had to talk in front of 400 people, I got nervous. I was like, oh, that's an army. It literally looked like an army. But no, for this, hell no, we're just <laughs> launching a car, it's fun. You can control it with this remote. Where is it going? Okay, here, to make sure it still works. How much would you say this all costs? Uh, this right here, the buses, I think we paid like 100 G's for everything. I don't know, a couple hundred grand, but the whole video, probably two million. Wow. Fuck you, slouch. These guys, <laughs> they're ridiculous. Before busting out the jet engine car, Jimmy first wanted to see how many buses a normal car can jump over. Let's Good luck. This. Thank you. Send the car down! I hear it, but I don't see it. Here it comes. The normal car managed to clear a total of four and a half buses. Oh my god, look at this. It went right through the window. Imagine with no context seeing this. How did that get there? Looks like we set this up. Doesn't it? Yeah. It's time to ramp things up! Yeah. I already did that! Uh, Alright. That was a good one. Now, let's ramp things up by putting a jet engine on it. I don't know why I try. If that's the normal car, the jet engine will probably jump all of them. They might land in the woods. Anything on the other side of those trees? Is there any world where this there's no shot. It goes that far. Like, let's be real. Like, is there anything over I love it? their no, confidence. There's it's no farmland. Here, it's all farmland. There's farmland. no science. Science says it only goes to the trees. That's the trees. That's science. That's but what, science. what if it just does yeah, it? Yeah, but science. There's said actually it no That's a graph. Thing. Let's find out what others think. Uh, I'd say I'd say all of them. All of them. All of them. It's a jet engine. Between the third and fourth bus, and hopefully it'll explode. Six or seven buses. Um, I'm hoping it goes at least ten buses. Just clear at least five buses. At least <laughs> seven. <laughs> if everybody said something different. And now it's time to bring out the jet engine car. Obviously not just to roast hot dogs for an Instagram picture. Oh, you saw those hot dogs flying? Yeah. That's the force on top of what we had before. How long do you usually have to wait around like this? Not that, normally. I mean, normally we're not launching a jet engine car over buses. <laughs> There's a lot more safety precautions. I'm just kind of like, I want to do it. 
How long till we go? Five minutes. It's time. I'm gonna get into position. I've never been so excited. Send the jet engine! This is it. Here it comes. This is Here it. Comes. Oh, it's going way faster. It's going no more the track. Oh my god. Once they uh, give us the green light, I can't wait to go see it. I looked. <laughs> what was it like? Crazy. Okay, don't swear, don't swear. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What happened to the bus? The moment of truth, let's see what happens to the car. Alright, now this is a bus stop. The jet engine car jumped over eight and a half buses. In my entire life as a filmmaker, I've never experienced anything like this. It's just, I mean, it's crazy. It's just wild. Is that it? Yes, sir. Now let's go edit on it. While Jimmy and his team started editing the video, I went and explored his studio. This is wild production value. Listen to the sound. It's completely sound treated, like a, a proper sound stage, like something you would get in the Warner Brothers lot. It's, it's just mind boggling that, you know, this is for YouTube. Literally any filmmaker's dream, there's everything in here, any, anything you need. Now to find out how the post-production process works. One, two, <laughs> three, <laughs> four, five. Where's he? Ghost. Okay, fair enough. How long does an edit usually take? Usually 16 days is our goal, but it ends up taking three weeks. 16? Wow. It's 2.30 in the morning and I can't find Jimmy. Just been editing. Gonna go look upstairs. Four more? Uh, four or more, yes. What? What, what are you are doing? doing? Playing board games. I'm out of here. Good night. I can't believe you're still going. <laughs> I'm dying. But board games are way too much fun. Just another day for Mr. Beast.